Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. <laughs> I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Ooh. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Okay, um... That motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh. <clears throat> God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Ah, uh, she's going did back she to Crane. Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait. <coughs> What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Is she in love with Crane? What's going on? she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. <coughs> People she trusted and cared for. <coughs> Excuse me. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. I don't want to interrupt. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to, to talk her? about what you've all She's been so grateful Can to I share wait? with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient. 
rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, when for tradition, talking. for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I, don't I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Really? A moment Thank of silence? You. I don't want to interrupt. I don't want to be the bad guy. Bigby. Is Thank you. everything Ooh. okay? Jesus. No, <clears throat> not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise your me, sister down the witching well. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat. Far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total <laughs> fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. Blah, 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 troll. Get your ass back it's on the seat. It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm... Just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? We found pictures. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. No? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? I can Two leave. minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel, did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Come, 
Constable. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jagoffs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. Are you kidding me? And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Boom, I'm Always dead. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, <coughs> rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Ah! What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Whoa. Calm down, darling. Whoa. It's just a simple business transaction. Whoa. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead Oh. I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god! I got it done! Don't tell me she's dead, too. No fucking way. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate Twill D and Twill Dumb. What the hell? That's complete bullshit. <laughs> Shit. God damn, I can't believe that. Ugh. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to <gasps> ow, take ow, away ow, from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> That's crap. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Good. 
Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. <coughs> At least they're not dead. Oh my god. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Shit, a brick. I can't handle the town this. Is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you Sorry. two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap, we don't need to Green recap. watched me through the magic mirror, uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. There's no other leads. This is it? Just... Wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> He's... He was a conniver. A... A coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. Yeah. And I'll hate him for how he yeah. held me in his thoughts. Oops. But murdering prostitutes. I don't do that. What are you talking about? Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Yes. And I, I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. You want stuff and to hit the fan? I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. I'll enjoy it more if you come home with me. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know... Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. There's what a is piece it? missing. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you mean? I could have told you that. Missing a piece. Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. All right. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, 
right. You, you mean it? Yeah. yeah, I mean it. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. <laughs> Bufkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Cole was around. Hotel what key. is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. <clears throat> I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. No one's gonna jump out there. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover, <clears throat> I'm sorry. And he's hungover. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Thanks. Thanks for that, or PM? Huh? AM. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone you and me number talk or to something. Holly? And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you After should be she asking just got is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd <clears throat> never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so. chances are you won't have time. Wow. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You wow. just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Uh... Crap. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Green's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I Why hope do I, I have know to what go you're alone? One hour and 55 minutes left. I'm being timed? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Same brand we found in the open arms. seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work.
forgot. He used to teach in the old days. That would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? I pocketed that money. My dearest Snow, I, I know pay you the must hookers. be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work? If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Might be useful. Headless horseman? I'm gonna jump out. Ah! Ooh. Oh, oh. <gasps> Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! <laughs> okay! <laughs> you got me. Just take it easy. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Do you know where Crane is? Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. <laughs> just take it easy. Uh, <sighs> opening stitches. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? Uh, I mean, excuse me. What are you even doing here? I hit my mic. Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? I'm taking care of it. That's all you need to know. I feel so much better. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. What do you mean? 
if you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though, but I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear... She's the witch from Hansel and Gretel, contact. I bet. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see... A little house in the woods. The thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Are you trying to get sexy with me? <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Me. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. <laughs> I do. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Find any more of these? Uh, no. You wanna try that again? That it? Bigby? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is. What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Exactly. Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't oh, burned it already. Holly. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? You don't have much time. I'll go to the Trip Trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Oh, uh, Holly's gonna be Let pissed. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. All right. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment. Um, I want to eat some of these cookies and, you know, take a small little break. So I will be right back and then we will... Try not to get killed by Holly. I know she's pissed that she got shot in the face. Give me just a couple minutes.
Okay. Sorry, guys. I have this whole thing of chocolate chip cookies, like, sitting in front of me, just staring at me. I had to take a moment to enjoy some. Alright. Let's finish playing. God. Holly's gonna be so pissed. I'm so sorry. 45 minutes left to what? <laughs> I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on <laughs> in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? <coughs> Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, <laughs> it gives you a very, <coughs> very, very nice high. No. He said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. He wants to pour me a shot? All right. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. <laughs> Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my <coughs> fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want him on my side. I don't want to fight him again. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. To the dead. No, Mouse. They feel a fight coming on. All right, now help me. <coughs> Grand, the doc said you needed to rest. <laughs> You Fuck. fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking go, mother, mouse, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all oh my of our God. backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and little. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. 
It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Oh my you god. You know what? Fuck this. <clears throat> I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. So you want me to go in her room but not wake her Sleepwalkers up? Sleepwalkers and <clears throat> trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Glenn won't remember this. Good. Get out of the room. Get out of the room. No! God damn, I'm gonna have to fight Holly. <sighs> that you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but. I'm not in the mood for entertaining, but what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but <laughs> yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then 
one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. So I just completely skipped uh, Twildy and Twildom's office. <clears throat> Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Oh, oops. This is it. All right. How 14 do you minutes do this? late. Crap. It's the witch. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. Bullshit. She's I'm the sorry, witch. sorry, I don't really... Uh... Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? I don't believe she's a little girl. Is there, um... We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there... Uh, something you want? Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? These people. <laughs> Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Bless you, my. Bless you, my. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Yeah, like hiding in the closet. And jump out at me. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. No one's been over all night, so... He's just... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. I don't believe you. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? <clears throat> Open closet door. Shit. Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to Maybe bed now? Here. Please. He's hiding in her bedroom. 
Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! Oh, good. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. I knew she was a little girl. Auntie Greenleaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. I knew she was a little girl. You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. And I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you! Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Crab, what I do? Don't. Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand <clears throat> with you. No. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. 
don't think this is over. I won't. I couldn't burn it. I couldn't. I'll have to burn it on the uh, the other playthrough. That's Crane's car. Yep. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know, now! Hey, you can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! Crane, get away from her! I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up! I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all! They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over! That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Oh. Wait, I can't... You have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you, everything will be solved. I did you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. A dude's calling backup right now. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Mm -mm. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... I just... Oh, God. What happened to you? Are you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't... I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? I honestly don't know. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to Miss me. Miss White. 
You have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. No, he's gonna run to his car and drive off. There, arrest him. Like, handcuff? Handcuff him? God. Why? He's gonna get away. What are you saying? Oh fuck. Who are you? You're gonna be the reason he gets away. Shit. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <clears throat> you got there. Is that, is that supposed to be Red Reinhead? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. The grown-ups are talking. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh... Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. That's it. Mm. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. But they have guns. I don't know how I feel about that. Fuck it. I'm just gonna sit there and let me get shot. Bigby? Oh, I'm gonna turn werewolf mm. now. <sighs> Come on! Transformers! Werewolves in disguise!
Are you kidding me? It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. Oh my god. And no one's you gonna know, help me? I wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a No! Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? No! Because I know I can't. Ugh! Wait! Stop! Fucking hell. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Snow saving my life. Stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? I feel like I look more like Beast than Beast does. Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no kill. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Oh my well, god. This is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Hmm. That was interesting. Although I didn't interrupt Snow's eulogy. Thirty-nine percent of players investigate Crane's apartment first. Wow, you and seventy-nine point five percent of players did not burn her tree. You and 55%, 55.8% didn't kill Tweedledum. <laughs> that was crazy. Wow, okay. So this is going to be it for tonight. 
Um, I will try and stream. I most likely will be streaming tomorrow a little bit. This is an interesting game. Oh, and I'm still missing one achievement. Who did I unlock? Vivian. <laughs> Oh, Georgie took a liking to Vivian. Yeah, I'm excited to play it a second time and choose different different decisions. the trip trap bar. Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Rumored to have lost a daughter in the homelands. Huh. God, though. I missed three characters in episode three. Oh, that's it. I haven't played episode four yet. Alright. 